Yo, yo, what's up? It is Friday, October 7th. We're at the 17th year to lose the target. We've got the politician. I'm not going to say who this reminds me of because I don't want to be suicided. But before we begin, um, I just want to point out that if you want to practice this one, you can go to uh, Game Modes, uh, Elusive Target Arcade, and there are two of them that start with the politician, so one of them is called the Detours. Uh, this is the one that you want to do. I, I'm already on to the second stage of this one, but basically the complication is first of all optional, um, and you have to kill your target solely through accidents. That's what we're going to do um, today anyway. Or you can pick the indices. Uh, where you have to have at most one pacification, which we are going to violate, but apparently this is optional, so you can go ahead and practice on that if you want. Uh, but otherwise, let's go ahead and get right into it and watch the briefing video. Good evening, 47. Your target is Dame Barbara Elizabeth Keating, a New Zealand tycoon and the former Minister of Trade and Foreign Affairs. She was forced to resign from her position when a charity she represented was accused of funneling donations towards the Dame's own offshore portfolio. Dame Barbara drew on contacts in the tabloids to shift the blame onto the charity's director, Jacqueline Vicker, destroying her reputation and ensuring that Vicker's death shortly thereafter was perceived as a suicide. Dame Barbara is now embarking on a PR tour to restore her standing and we believe she's working with a body dump in order to protect herself at public events. Needless to say, the contract only applies to the real Dame Barbara. Good luck, 47. Alright, cool. So, in order to do this, um, the only thing that you need to bring, you absolutely must bring, is the lockpick. So we don't need anything else. And in terms of start location, you only have one choice. So you gotta start at the hut, bring the lockpick, nothing else really matters. Um, and before we launch into it, uh, oh right, actually here's target intel if you wanna read it. Just pause the video. Right, so uh, before we get into it, um, I just wanted to point out that in terms of, if you wanna do this with quick uh, timing, like in terms of the, the movement cycles and stuff, then you pretty much have to follow what I'm doing and, and be kind of quick about it. I'll tell you um, the point at which it really matters. So if you weren't that quick, when you get to that point, you can kind of just decide to slow down and wait for another cycle. So let's go ahead and just jump right into this. Welcome to New Zealand, 47. Your target and her double. Okay are both preparing for their undoubtedly tearful comeback speech. So you're making a beeline toward that corner of the building. Doppelganger. So a little additional reconnaissance might be in order. These guys won't see you. That being said, do try to stay in the grass. Uh, there's a camera over there and a camera over there. And we're just going to try to dodge them. So we're coming up across uh, upon two guys over here. So then we're going to cut to the right staying in the grass and then right when you see these two cars you're just going to quickly run between them and you should be fine and then keep going until you're in this grass dodge these guys and then there's that guy over there he might see you for a little bit but that's fine once you're in the grass um come this way cut across this way until you're in front of the garage door and then we have to use the lock pick to unlock it now don't worry about these guys. Pick up the hammer over here. And then I'm going to throw the hammer into this corner. Then quickly turn around and pick up a propane flask and hide. Let's not take any chances. You, go check it so out. this guy is going to come and investigate. I'm going to close the door behind him. Knock him out. Pick up the hammer again. Hide his body. You can even pick up the gun too, it doesn't matter. This guy should be back asleep, so we want to get the wrench. That's why we did all this, to get this wrench. Come into the main room over here, take cover. And then around this time, everyone in this room will be starting to head upstairs, except for that guy at the back. That guy at the back never really moves. Once their backs are turned, you can do change cover to come over here and pick up the car key and then change cover back. You won't get spotted. Now, 
um, unlock this door. And this is the point at which the timing kind of matters, right? Because what we're going to do is we're going to knock this guy out. I'll use a hammer. And then we're going to quickly sabotage this gas lamp. And then make sure you pick up his gun so they don't see it. And then drag his body back down the stairs. So the people are going to come out soon. And uh, if you were too slow, then you might want to just wait for another cycle. Wait for them to leave and then do the, the knockout and everything. Um, but if you follow my method, you should have plenty of time. And then now we just got to get out of here. So we're going to head back out this way. The exit is going to be one of those cars right, right over there. So from here, I'm just going to cut across into the grass and just wait for the target to kill herself. There. Target eliminated. Well done, 47. And then the client is transferring a very just exit over here. Donation as we speak. Now, time to make your exit. And that's all there really is to it. I wasn't even trying, did it in about three minutes. That being said, it's hardly a speed run. Obviously, the fastest people will find a way to do this in 39 seconds. Congrats to Gen P. Um, but hopefully, you're able to follow that. It's not too difficult. Um, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.